All right, guys, we have a new physique update of Brandon Curry, and this time it is in HD, so you can see all the details, and he has many of those. So for two weeks out, a little bit longer than two weeks out, he is looking pretty much ready for the stage. And my god, check this front double bicep, check this, how aesthetic this is. This is aesthetics, this is aesthetics literally by being this huge, so it's crazy, I mean how much muscle does he have and how well he is able to control his stomach, how tight his waist is, his waist is not looking bloated at all from the sides, from the front, it looks tight, tight, very tight waist. I mean, it's really impressive overall his physique. I mean, look at the density of his back, uh, the size of those arms, the thickness of his entire physique. Basically, the only thing that is not super freaking crazy impressive on his body is the details of his lower body. So, his glutes, his hamstrings, and also his quads. It's not the size. He's not small downstairs by any means. I mean, he could be a little bit bigger, but the size is not really the problem as much as those details and deep cuts are. Still, it's two weeks out, he's gonna get a, probably a little bit sharper, but not too much. If he gets much sharper, he'll probably lose on the fullness. I think he's almost ready. I mean, maybe he's gonna try to diet down for the next couple of days, maybe for like next five days, maybe try to get a little bit leaner, and then he'll probably just stop doing cardio if he already hasn't stopped, and just slowly cruise into the Mr. Olympia, and Jesus H. Christ, look at his abs and thighs. This is just perfect. I mean, for a guy of his size, it's really admirable how was he able to pack on all that mass and keep his waist so small. He has been adding size these past couple of years, a lot of size, and his waist looks even smaller than before. It really didn't grow at all. I think all these other open bodybuilders could learn a thing or two from Brandon Curry. And I think that's another reason why he will win the Mr. Olympia. Being able to have so much muscle with such a small, tight waist. And that is very important today. It's definitely very important. As far as this version of most muscular, I would prefer him to have a little bit bigger rear delts. Like Rolly has. Rolly has them and his shoulders look a little bit more round. But in this version, in hands clasped, I mean, what do I say? What do I say? I think I'm out of words, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is just insane. This is just freaking crazy. This is his best pose, I'd say so. And pay attention to his left leg, the upper portion, the details in his upper legs. They came up. The details definitely came up. It's a difference from Iron Classic. It's not gonna be Iron Classic repeat. It's gonna be a little bit better version of Brandon Curry and... Uh, I think it's safe to say that nobody will be able to beat him. I don't think this is beatable, not this year. It is even arguable if Sean Roden at his best and Phil Heath at his 80 or 90% or whatever he was last year, not at 100% Phil Heath. Phil Heath, when he's on, nobody can beat him pretty much. Maybe Ronnie Coleman and that's it. But Sean Roden, I don't know if Sean will be able to beat this version of Brandon Curry. I think this is just much bigger, much fuller than, than Sean even tighter stomach. Sean has some great abs, but he had a bulge in his lower abs. Brandon doesn't have any of that. His stomach is just flat. Flat, completely flat, and his abs are also very symmetrical. Just a very small stomach, very small waist, which makes his physique that much more impressive. But what draws my eyes is his arms and his shoulders, mainly. I mean, simply the fact that I'm not looking at his stomach, at his waist, is good enough. Because of his waist is so small, it's unnoticeable, it doesn't draw my attention from his other muscles, from the, his other body parts, such as arms, shoulders, chest, even legs, even legs at this pose, they look, his legs look great. The inner part and the upper portion just came up a lot. But, you know, those arms and shoulders are just freaky, just freaky as hell. Look at the fullness, the definition right now, the, the separation. I mean, this is just, this is just amazing. Really good version of Brandon Curry. I'm sure he will win the Mr. Olympia. I don't think anybody can challenge him, really. I think he should stay away from this variation of most muscular. The other one, hands clasped, is much better than this crab pose. I mean, just compare these two poses. Why does he need to do both of them? I mean, they are both great, sure, but this one is just much, much better. His legs are looking much better and everything else, pretty much. And as far as his uh, front lat spread, it's a really good front lat spread. And, I mean, pretty much every pose he, he's very good at. I mean, yeah, the only weakness that you can see right here is yeah, those details in his legs. I mean, not only the details, but the mass, but it's not so big of a problem. 
He's so perfect that you must notice any imperfection. So that would be his legs, but not, not really that bad. And here you can see him, I think he's wet from the swimming pool. I don't think he's oiled up. He's just probably wet and the, the sun is shining on his body, the natural lighting. And that's like the best type of lighting that you can get, especially when you are this lean and then this jacked. So as you can see the details in his shoulders, that's one of the things that I'm impressed the most. Uh, of all of his body parts, his shoulders, his shoulders are just amazing. And I mean, the thing about Brandon again is his completeness. So he's very complete and that is why you can notice his legs. That's why you can see that his legs are a little bit weaker, but those are not weak legs. Those are our classic winning legs against some really good guys. And I think this is going to be uh, 2019 Mr. Olympia winning physique as well. I don't think Rolly will beat him. I think Rolly will challenge him. It's going to be an epic battle, but I think uh, Brandon will definitely edge him out in the end. So, guys, whatever you think about Brandon Curry, do you think he will win the Mr. Olympia or he will be second or third? Whatever your take is, tell me down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave the like down below. And if you want to see more Mr. Olympia and overall bodybuilding updates and coverage, please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new videos every day. Thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. All the best. Bye-bye.